everyone. Here we are. Um, lesson 26, day number three we are looking at here. Uh, so we are starting off in your entrance slips. Remember, if you have not watched your notes, go back, take care of the notes. Lesson 26, day number three. For everyone else there that's already got that taken care of, let's get after it. Uh, we're continuing with our percent of a number. So we've seen the algorithm approach yesterday about using your fractions to set up ratios. And we've seen the visual approach as well. Now, here's the thing. Like I said, they're, they're both fine. I don't mind you jumping back and forth, but there are gonna be some times when you're doing the visual and you're like, this just isn't working. Um, so yeah, you do want the algorithm. At the same time, you might be doing the algorithm and be frustrated by it for whatever reason. It's not working out. Maybe you're forgetting to simplify. Remember, that was the big emphasis yesterday is if you simplify your fractions, they're much more manageable. But if you are struggling with that, then fine. Go to the visual. And, and maybe you're like, oh, there it is. I see that. So having two options is a good thing because it's flexibility. If something's not working well, maybe try the other technique and away you go. So, um, I'm going to stick with the algorithm because that's the preferred method that's here. All right. So um, away we go. It says the sweater costs $55. It's 20% off the original price this week. How much will the shopper save? Okay. How much will the shopper save? So here we go now. Um, do, 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 do. Well, things that we know already. Um, percent. Percent is always our hundred. So we've always got our 100 in that little right-hand corner. Uh, we always know that percent is out of 100. So anytime I find that percent symbol, that makes my life easy. And now remember the part is going on here. So we've got part over whole, okay? It's always the part on top. It's always the whole on the bottom that's there. In this particular case, a sweater costs $45. That's the whole price. That is the total price that you are dealing with. Now, again, we are going to be able to take 20% off. That is the sale, but 45, that's that's the whole amount there. So here we are, and there's your setup. So like we've been talking about, simplify. Um, and notice they both end in zeros. So I could divide by 10, which works out. Um, the other thing I notice here is 20. We can count by 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So if I divide them both by 20, I'm going to get one here, because 20 divided by 20 is one. And if I take 100 and I divide it by 20, I'm going to get a 5. Now we can figure out what to multiply by. 5 times what is 45? 9. So come on up top here. 1 times 9. That gives you 9. Now the question did ask how much will the shopper save? All right. So the 20%, they're going to save $9. All right. Um, Eventually, we're going to get to ideas like, what's the new price? Well, then what we get into, ooh, they're going to save $9, and the original price was $45. We'll have to do an extra step here and do some subtraction. But that's not what they asked for here. Let's go on to question number two. Uh, a pair of jeans was 25% off the original price. The sale resulted in a $15 discount. What was the original cost of the jeans? Okay, so again, fraction bar equals fraction bar. 100 in the lower right-hand corner. Percent is always out of 100. Now, the $15, that was the discount. So that's not the whole price. That's just the part we get to take off of the price. So because that's the part we get to take off, there you go. So there is a theme that you're going to see here. Remember we talked about part and whole? Well, what we're going to see here is that Part is always the discount. And the whole will always be the original price. So it is a theme that you'll always see. Um, but yeah, that's the, the original price, um, the actual price, the whole price. Get it? Whole. Yeah, all right, there we go. So again, those are things that you can definitely be aware of. All right, here. So, as usual, let's simplify. Uh, I see 25, I see 100. I'm thinking quarters. I'm going to divide by 25 because it takes one quarter to make 25 cents and it takes four quarters to make a dollar. Um, 
So yeah, 25 hundredths, that's my one fourth. Now I can see that I'm multiplying by 15. I'm gonna multiply by 15. Four times 15? Yeah, 16. Yeah, so what's the original price? Again, original, that's the whole. It is $16.16, all right. Um, now again, if you do wanna go back to the visual that's there, if you do get stuck on it for whatever reason, you put your 0% down, your 100% down, they gave me 25%, all right, as low as $0. The sale resulted in the $15 discount. So again, that's the part we're looking at. Um, you're gonna see some similar things that are going on here. Like, what can you count by? Well, we can count by 25s, all right? Um, the reason why we wanna see that connection there or how it works is, look at that, four groups. Um, we counted by 25s. Well, we divided by 25, all right? There were four groups that are there. So they, they do make the same appearance. Now you can see each box is worth 15. Add a 30, add a 15 to get to 30, add a 15 to get to 45, and then add a 15 to get to 60. Um, so again, a lot of similarities as you go through it. Okay, so you are in your classwork. Make sure you get your answer key out. Make sure you're checking your answers as you go. Um, so again, open, close that device there as you sneak peeks at your answers. Um, or do like what I do um, in class. I write them on the board for you right away. So if you want, get your answer key out. Put the answers right down next to each of the problems. That way you're not seeing the work. Because that's really what it comes down to is, okay, I know this result, but can I get that result? All right, everyone, enjoy.